Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm happy that you found this video or or maybe this video found you. But um, my, my name is Caleb Maffei. I'm 18 years old and uh, I've got a story to share with you today. So um, you might have seen my my recent video that that came out. It was uh, my mom's testimony. So I wanted to start a series that I called God's Work. Um, and it's, it's just about testimonies and stuff like that. But I was saying, you know, God, give me, bring someone that is on fire for, for you. Bring someone that has a, a powerful testimony, you know. Bring bring someone that that uh, would be willing to, to make a, a video of their testimony. And I felt God say, you. And I thought, oh no, you know, I, I don't I don't have a testimony. It's not it's not strong, it's not impactful, and then um and then God said you. So here here it is, here is my my testimony. It's about um my addiction to porn. And um I, I've got a verse here, it's first Corinthians six eighteen. It says Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral sins against his own body. So um, it started back in uh, 20, 2014. I was in eighth grade, and that's when I started watching things that uh, that I shouldn't have been watching, right? And that's that's when the fascination uh, with all with all this sexual stuff began. And um, I, I want to tell you that addiction, it isn't something that happens overnight, right? And, and sin, sin is the same way. Sin, uh, sin grows, but it needs darkness to grow. Sin, sin needs darkness, right? So it started with movies and it started with me being curious you know, I would see something, I, I, you know, like a like a light would would go off, and be, whoa, what is that? You know, and you know, I was I was younger, and and it progressively got worse from that. Um, I I, I started to to watch porn in in my eighth grade year, and it went all the way until around the the middle of my junior year. Um. But it got to the point where I was watching porn every day, every night, maybe maybe even multiple times a day. And I felt like I needed it. It felt like a necessity. And it felt like I needed that to, to complete me, to, to be happy, right? And I, I needed it to be satisfied, but, but the feeling was only momentary. The, the feeling was was not something that lasted that whole day. The feeling was there and then it was gone, right? But, but something amazing is that the joy and the peace that God gives us, right? That is eternal and that is everlasting. And I could feel tied down. I felt incomplete. And I felt like I was in chains. I couldn't worship God the way I wanted to. You know, I couldn't lift up my hands. I couldn't shout. I couldn't scream. And, and there was something inside me, deep down, deep down inside me, eating. And I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't get rid of it. And I would ask God, take this away from me, please. Take away this desire. Take away this sin, take away this addiction. But there was something that I needed to fix, right? The sin was something that I needed to stop doing. And it, it took me a while, but um, eventually I, I stopped watching it. And, and I, I credit that to, to God and His grace and His mercy because I, I couldn't have done it alone. I couldn't have done it by myself. And um, it's amazing because finally when I, when I stopped watching it, 
uh, about uh, over a year ago, um, I was finally able to lift my hands. I finally felt free. I finally felt that there was that there was a part of me that was back. There was something that God had changed in my heart, something that I had had worked towards, and and that is when my relationship with God started to grow. And and praise God for this. Now I have been free from porn for well over a year. And uh, my relationship has never been stronger with God. And it's only to continue to grow and continue getting stronger. And, um, you know, I, I, was, I was a kid that, that grew up in church since, since I was a baby. Um, I, I always loved God. I always felt that, that uh, you know, that he was there for me. But it doesn't mean that I always did right by him. You know, we're, we're all sinners. It doesn't matter how much you love him. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter how much right you think you do. Because I thought that, that I was a good Christian. I thought I was doing everything he had called me to do. But there was one thing holding me back. There was one thing that I couldn't get rid of. And I, I'm telling you this today because because I know it's not just me. And I know that there's a lot of, of brothers, a lot of sisters out there that are, that are being held back, that are being tied down by this. And I know you feel alone because I felt that same way. But I am here to tell you <laughs> that God is greater than all of that. God is greater than your struggle. God is greater than what you're going through. Because I know that because he helped me. And um, and it's uncomfortable to say this. And it's uncomfortable to come out here and, and to talk to a camera. <laughs> and I, I'm going to edit this video. And I'm not going to want to release it. I am not going to want to post this. But it needs to be said. Because pornography is something that is plaguing the church and it's poisoning us. It's poisoning the church. Um, but I want to encourage you today, if you're struggling or if you know that, if you know someone that's struggling, I, I, want, you to, I want you to know that God is here for you and that he will always be here for you. There is no chain that God cannot break. There is nothing greater than God. There is nothing greater than God. There is no problem that that you are facing that that is greater than God and um, you know I, I was like that for around four years and and I struggled I, I really struggled I, I felt disgusted by myself at points I felt tied down but now I I feel free I feel I feel complete again and um, now God has blessed me with the privilege to be a worship leader at my church. I, I, can, I can raise my hands and I could, I could worship God the way he deserves to be worshipped. And um, uh, last night I was, I was, uh, I stayed up to like one and I was just thinking about, about this video that I was going to make the next day. And and I was un, un, unsure if I was going to do it because it's embarrassing, you know, but, but I, I decided, I prayed about it and I thought, you know, I'm going to make the video. <laughs> but then uh, I, I, I fell asleep and then I had this dream about uh, that, that I was getting beat up and stuff, you know, beat up, beat up. And then I, I, I woke up, I thought I woke up in my room, in my bed and I was sleeping. But then something raised me up off my bed and I was hanging like this off my bed. And there was a dark presence in my room in the corner. And it, it took me and it shook me violently. And, and I, couldn't, I couldn't speak, I couldn't say anything. I wanted to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. 
but all that was coming out were mmm mmm I couldn't talk I couldn't move I was paralyzed and and so I, I, I somehow in the dream I managed to open up my mouth and I I hummed that song when I think about the Lord right how he saved me and, and right there I woke up I woke up and 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 to be honest I was a little frightened but I know that the that the enemy doesn't want you to hear this video today I, I know that the enemy doesn't want you to see this I know that the enemy wants you to to be kept held down he wants you to remain in those chains but there is hope <laughs> there is hope today and and I'm not gonna let the enemy win I don't, I'm not gonna let the enemy hold my life down and hold me captive and I don't want that for you and and so I just wanna I just wanna encourage you today I just want there to be hope for you and I want you to know that God is there for you and um, you know if if you're struggling with this or if you know that someone else that's struggling um, I'm here for you you can contact me um, and um, I, I, ju I just want to I just want to let you guys know that God's got your back that God will be there for you um, no matter what so um, yeah thank you guys thank you for watching